Hi YouTube, Gerald here. Whenever you visit a badminton shop, you realize there are rows of neatly stacked badminton grips and they come in different shapes and sizes. Have you ever wondered what are they for? So in this video, we are talking all about grips. There are two types of badminton grips. One, the rubber grip and the tower grip. Within rubber grips, there are two subcategories, the, the over grip and the replacement grip. The problem with rubber grips is that when they become very wet, they become extremely slippery. So if you have sweaty palm, please don't ever touch a rubber grip because they will you end up with flying rackets all over the court. And the function of uh, over grip, it's actually meant to go around uh, the replacement grip so it adds a variety of texture and it is very cheap to change so that's why it saves you a lot of cost. But the problem with it is that it makes your racket very bulky and heavy which I do not like. So personally I prefer uh, to put an over grip on top of another over grip. So yeah that's just my personal preference. Yeah? And I actually have this uh, there is this very interesting video done by the tennis shop that explains in depth what are the different varieties of rubber grip but I think it's not very necessary for beginners to understand but if you're interested I will actually put the link down in the description below so do check it out and moving on to tower grips the good thing about tower grip is that no matter how wet this grip becomes it still maintains very good uh, friction or, con or how does it feel such that you don't you will not sleep easily even if it's very wet very wet but the downside to this is that after a while it really stinks and it does not last as long as a rubber grip and the more you use it the rougher it becomes so as you can see this is like after prolonged use and this is when it's quite new the difference is this is really really rough and this is smooth and nice so personally i prefer using tower grip bigger for intensive training because I perspire a lot and an alternative to using a power grip could be to use a wristband where it helps to absorb sweat so that it does not uh, flow to your hands yeah and here's another interesting fact did you know that the badminton handle actually come in different sizes and unless asked most badminton shop assistants do not actually tell you that they have badminton rackets that come in a variety of different handle sizes okay so for me personally i will actually request or ask for thinner handles because uh, the advantage of having a thinner badminton handle is that you can you can wrap your grip thicker so that gives you more comfort and cushion at the same time a thinner racket actually gives you much more control because the fine movement in your hand or fingers required uh, it is a basically it's advantageous to have a much thinner handle yeah and that's it for this video if you have learned something please click here to see more and do check out my two other videos where i talk about shoes all about shoes because they are so good i think you'll i think you really like them and they are awesome because i share with you how to choose the right badminton shoes and how to make your shoes last much much longer have a great day bye, -bye.